con el discurso o el con su puesto rico. Toastmasters and guests. I just wanted to tell you a, a few things before I begin my welcome to Puerto Rico, and that is, if you don't laugh, I'm going to think you don't understand English. So it's very <laughs> important that you laugh. Nadia told me that you lose 300 calories every time you laugh. <laughs> Now, I want you to also know I have a guy in the back. He doesn't speak English or Spanish. That's Dennis. He doesn't speak English or Spanish. But he knows his role is to just continue laughing. So he laughs. <laughs> I just want you to know what, what's going on. Welcome to Puerto Rico. You know, many of you choose to come to Puerto Rico, but I was more like Dorothy in the Wizard of Oz. The big tornado came and whipped her up and dropped her off. And that's exactly what happened to me. I was in Hurricane Hugo. I was seven months pregnant. And the Army Jets came in and brought us and literally dropped us in Puerto Rico. So when I got to Puerto Rico, I got off the plane. I'm talking 15 minutes. I'm from St. Croix. 15 minutes in a jet. Maybe shorter in the Army Jet. And we got dropped here. And the first thing I noticed was everybody was kissing everybody. And I was like, this is really interesting. <laughs> They don't do this in my country. I don't know what's going on here, but I, I think I can like this place. <laughs> Then, one day, a man said to me, we're talking, he's married, he's got kids. And he tells me, te amo. I mean, I, I, I'm hearing, I love you. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm looking at him like, I, he loves me, he's cute, but he's married. <laughs> and every single time we talked on the phone, he would say, Thamel. So I still, even at the sound of his name or the picture of his head in my head, I, I, I get embarrassed, I blush. Well, it took me years to realize he was saying, Thay <laughs> Thamel. dictionary out, I started to look around, and I found classes. I found it posted on a tree. It's a classes day, and I went seven months pregnant with my husband, and we get to the pool, <laughs> and I said, this is confusing. This, what, what's the pool for? And nobody's pregnant. They were classes de nadar. Classes de nacer. So you might think it's easy to live outside your culture. But it's very, very challenging. And Puerto Ricans are very nice. Actually, once I had the baby, it was totally mysterious. I was getting gifts. People were knocking on my door, bringing me presents. And I was like, I don't know these people. Why are they bringing me presents? I just had a baby. I don't get it. <laughs> Loving, kind, cariño, perfect. Until you get on the road. And something happens when a Puerto Rican gets behind their, their wheel. I really don't know what it is. <laughs> But you get in the road, and everybody's in a hurry after they're late for everything. I think they want to make that time up on the road. So one day, I have the newborn in the back seat, Dennis. <laughs> and I went to go park my car. And I get in the car, and I, very civilized, started reversing into my parking space. And a car comes whipping up and takes my parking space. <laughs> something what they do from my country, we, you know, we get even. So when she went into the post office, I parked my car behind hers. And she came out and she said, you have to move. I said, I'm teaching you a lesson. I said, that was my parking space. So all in all, I find living in Puerto Rico rather confusing. What is Puerto Rico? Is it a commonwealth? Is it a territory? Is, is it a state? I mean, you guys all seem to be comfortable with commonwealth. Does anybody know what a commonwealth is? I, all I know is I can't vote. That's the only thing I know. But you guys seem fine with that, so I'm fine with that. And um, when my son was born here, he's a, a, um, he looks like me, he talks like me, and he was in first grade, and he sat down, and his teacher said, Honey, sweetheart, where are you from? And he said, Puerto Rico. And she said, Honey... <laughs> Sweetheart, I really don't think you're from Puerto Rico. And he came home crying. 
He said, Mom, she says I'm not a Puerto Rican. <laughs> I went to school the next day and I said, she said, no, I'm sorry. You know, he's not, I mean, he's not a Puerto Rican. It's okay. He grew up. My brother said he needed a psychiatrist because he's in New York with his hat. It's Puerto Rican hat, and my brother's like, keep it down, keep it down. They <laughs> 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 came time for college, and the fact that's, whoa, minority, we love that. You know, we got lots of money. <laughs> <laughs> so, Puerto Rico. Some call it La Isla de Colero. Some people call it La Isla de Estrella. Some people call it La Isla del Encanto. I like to call it La Isla Bendecida. Puerto Rico has been very good to me. It's a very loving place, and I'm sure you'll enjoy it as much as I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot the best part.